It's the Joe Show, starring Joe, doing all sorts of Joe things, not your average Joe, and also he can walk. Oh my God, Joe, how did you do this? I built it myself with supplies I got at the home supply downtown. Yeah, between you and me, I think Joe's got a little free time these days. I hear he hasn't touched Bonnie in months. Peter, you just whispered that to me. Shh, here he is. Joe, what a great job you've done here. All right, let's get this started. Thank you for choosing Joe Swanson Theaters. Not that big a deal. A bunch of the guys on the force have had vasectomies, and their lives haven't changed at all. Would you ever have one? NEVER! Christmas Eve isn't the same around our house. It brings up bad memories of Iraq for Kevin for some reason. All right now, Kevin, a few of us are going out for dinner and then maybe ice skating. What I'm saying is some of us might not be coming home. Also, the duck will be done in 20 minutes. Just take it out of the oven and cover it up. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Oh, and uh, if Susie does anything cute while we're out, take a picture. No matter what is going on, take the shot. I mean it. Don't be afraid to take the shot. And, uh, and, and I'm plugging the tree while we're gone. Do you hear me? Light it up! Joe, why are you dressed like that? Because I'm a mixologist. Oh, cool. What can you make? You name it, I can make it. Could I get an old-fashioned? Classic. Rum and Coke coming right up. And could I get a Moscow Mule? Rum and Coke for my comrade. I'll have a whiskey Rum sour. Coke coming right up. Could I get a Rum and Coke? A uh, Pepsi okay? Oh, yeah, this is so nice. This makes up for Quagmire's calls every day just to fill time on his drive home from work. Hello? Hey, Joe, what's up? Nothing, Quagmire. Just trying to work. Oh, yeah? What are you working on? Oh, come on, lady! Move it! Damn it! Why can't people learn how to drive? Idiots. Anyway, what, what are we talking about? <sighs> you asked me what I was doing. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, nice blinker! This guy's just sitting in the intersection with no blinker on. Look, Quagmire, I'm just trying to finish some work here. Listen, I'm pulling into my driveway. I gotta jump. I'll talk to you later. All right, Peter. Your sister's the real deal, so if you're gonna take her on, we're gonna have to teach you how to wrestle. So come on. Come at me. Come on. What are you waiting for? No, Joe. No, I'm, I'm not doing this. What are you, chicken? Come on. I'm right here. Bring it, Chubbs. Joe, I, I, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm right here, sissy boy. Come on. <sighs> Come on, he's still gonna pin me. Joe, you're laying on your back on the mat. Pin me! One, two, three. What are you doing? A pin's not to three, it's to twenty-five. What? No, it's to three. It's to twenty-five. <sighs> Four, five... From one! One, two, three... I'm gonna get out of this. This group needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. Oh, I, I don't know if you're gonna be in it, Joe. I, I thought while we filmed, we'd just keep all of our stuff on your lap. As long as I'm a part of it. And I don't want you telling people you were a part of it. It still sounds like fun. It won't be fun. Hey, it's Joe. Open up. <gasps> Uh, hey, Joe. What's going on? Oh, hey, I forgot. I brought you guys souvenirs from my trip to Vegas. They're t-shirts that say, I lost my shirt in lost wages. <laughs> I think maybe you should keep them. All right, I'll see you guys later. Hey, fellas. Um, I have a question. I went on a date with this girl that I really like, and if you don't mind, I was hoping I could ask you a few questions about the birds and the bees. Ah, my boy wants to know about sex. Came to the right place. Chris, what you always want to remember is that sex is perfectly natural. Well, uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Swanson, um, I wasn't really talking to you. 
Chris, I know a lot about sex. Yeah, and I'm sure you have fond memories, but I was kind of hoping to get some advice from someone who isn't broken from the waist down. I'm a father! You're a two-wheeled monster! <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be my ringtone. Quagmire, call me. <laughs> hey, Chris, guess what we just did? Bonnie, tell him. We had sex. We had sex! We had what Joe calls sex. I know what you mean, Peter. He's telling Bonnie the same stuff. She's even making me participate in erotic role play. Hello, ma'am. I'm the census taker here to ask you a few questions. Oh, hello. I'm the bored, horny housewife with a crippled husband. Uh-huh. Okay. What is your name? Bonnie Swanson. Bonnie, you're not supposed to give your own name. Sorry, sorry. So, um, how often do you do this sort of work? Well, as the census taker, I come once every ten years. Well, that makes one of us. Damn it, Bonnie! You're not doing it right! You aren't either! The real guy was Latino! Joe, I'm glad I caught you. I gotta tell you something. I think Lois and Peter are the ones who kidnapped that kid on the news. Is that right? Well, good job, Brian. You've done a great job of narking on your owners. Oh. Well, I, I was just trying to help. Man's best friend, huh? More like the man's best friend. Boy, I thought Peter owned a dog. Apparently, he owns a stool pigeon. I'd like another run at that. I thought Peter owned a dog. Apparently, he owns a rat. I think that one was better. Yeah, I think it popped a little more. Yeah. Oh, damn it, I took Bonnie's purse again. I wonder what bag she's carrying around. Okay, that'll be $78.15. Oh, dear. Do you have change for a pile of shit? Oh, good lord! Is that... DUTY! I'm doing the dishes, Joe. I'll change you in a minute. He'll be fine. We shouldn't let this ruin our night. Let's just enjoy the strippers. I guess. I just hate the way that one gets so into her work. You boys have been very naughty. I'm gonna have to assign you extra homework. Darn it, fractions are so hard. What'd you get for number four? She said don't share answers! Jeez, Joe, what the hell happened? You used to be this badass cop out there on the street, busting heads and keeping us safe. Yeah, what I do now probably doesn't sound all that glamorous, but Chief says I'm the glue that holds the department together. Actually, now that I think about it, he may have said I'm the guy that orders the glue, which I'm now remembering we're very low on. I will see you guys later. This is ridiculous. There's no way Lois killed Connie. There's just too much evidence against her. I gotta take her in. So what, I'm supposed to be a guy without a wife now? What am I supposed to do? Whatever I want, whenever I want? I'm gonna get crow's feet from smiling too much. Sorry, Peter. It's gonna be quite an adjustment. Seriously, who's gonna greet me in a shapeless sweatshirt when I come home? Meg, maybe. Well, who's gonna slap a tarantula of shampoo hair on the wall of the shower? That's the little things you miss. Who's gonna go, ooh, ooh, careful, while I'm parking? Sometimes this is the hardest part of my job. Who's gonna fill up my DVR with lady judge programs? Hey, I don't make the rules. Oh, and I suppose now I'll have to start every road trip with a full tank of gas? I took an oath, Peter. What am I supposed to do, masturbate comfortably in bed? The law's the law. And I guess I'm gonna have to be on time to every party and stay real late? Yeah, why do they do that? And so long, Handmaid's Tale, I guess. Two or three more jokes, Peter. So long, This Is Us. Last one. So long, see in my dining room. You got a stronger one to end on? So long, bitchy 2 a.m. blanket pulls. Ah, there we go. Peter. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Burbeck. Uh, do you have a daughter named Jennifer who is currently smeared across Highway 9? Joe, it's us. Oh, sorry, that's my next stop. Peter, your son was lurking outside a classmate's window with his boombox playing Peter Gabriel. He's being charged with felony stalking. I also tried to use science to make a sex slave from a magazine photo. Ugh, oh, this is horrifying. Actually, it's the 80s. What? Well, it appears that someone has exposed your son to the very problematic teen films of the 1980s. If she hacked all my internet accounts. What? Honey, I think she hacked my Twitter. Well, without any hard evidence, Lois, I'm afraid there's nothing we can do. Fine. I know this would be a waste of time.
Okay, fellas, she's gone. I'd like to report somebody using the wrong toothbrush. Have a seat, sir. Tell me everything. Okay, you know Elmo, right? Then at work, we wear body cams. We could just do that when we're drinking. That's a great idea, Joe. Thanks. Now maybe you'll take down those three billboards you put up about me. That's not true. Uh. All right. If we're gonna break out of here, we gotta get past these guards. Well, I got an idea. It won't be pretty, but bear with me. Oh, oh, oh no! I fell out of my wheelchair! Don't help me! I need to do this on my own! What are you doing, Joe? You're embarrassing us. Oh, really? Are they looking? No. They're actually going to great lengths to avoid it. Exactly. No one wants to watch a handicapped struggle for independence. This will buy us at least 15 minutes of averted gazes. All right, I'm gonna nail this home. Oh! Oh, this is so humiliating. I'm about to be an adult man crying. I can't walk. Why the hell can't I walk? This isn't part of the act anymore. No, 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 don't look. If you make eye contact, you'll have to help. Wow, Bonnie, you really took off the baby weight quickly. Oh, thanks, Lois. I've been watching what I eat, and Joe's been running me ragged in the bedroom. Come on, Bonnie, run! Come on, push it, push it! Come on, you suck! You're trash, you're a garbage person! You work for the town! Just relax, Mr. Swanson, and let the anesthetic do its job. All right, Doc, I trust you. Good. Now I'll just pop in the how-to video and we'll get started. What? Hi, I'm Jamie Farr, and you're about to perform leg surgery. First off, what's your name? Dr. Hartman. Great name, but I'm going to call you Pal. No! Boy, you guys sure packed a lot of stuff. Yeah, well, we're going to be gone a week. Me, I travel light. Just two shirts, two pairs of pants, and the machine that does the work of my large intestine. We brought a machine that gives Lois orgasms. Join us, Sarah. Joe, what the hell are you doing here? Well, I'm here to take your order. And ruin your date. Tonight's special is a dish called revenge. Which is best, sir? Joe, that's not your table. That's Sergey's table. I told you specifically I wanted to wait on this one. That's not how it works, Joe. Well, I'll give you a few minutes to look over your menus and wonder what I have planned. Hello, I am Sergey. I'll be your server tonight. Get out of here, Sergey. No, you get out of here. This is my table. This doesn't concern you. Guys, guys, stop fighting! We've got a birthday over at Table 9! Happy, happy birthday from all of us to you! We wish it was our birthday so we could party too! Hey! We're, uh, we're just gonna go, Joe. Oh, um, do you want the steak I peed on to go? Well, what do I do? Take it from a law, man. Whenever authorities have tried to take away something the people find precious, the people have found ways around the law. They always find a way, like nature. Look at that, tree bent to keep growing toward the sun. Anyway, I'm Joe, and I don't do a lot of these. Boy, wouldn't you like to know what those little guys are saying? <gasps> Looks like Joe's home early. What? I ate most of his dinner. He's gonna be so pissed, I better hide. Hey, Bon, did you know there's a difference between 10th Street and 10th Avenue? Anyway, I may have bonered the steak out. Oh, thanks for pre-chewing my meal, babe. The food shuttles out of my cloaca much easier that way. Time to let these dogs out of their cages. Bon, would you turn on my foot fan? I gotta create a distraction so I can get out of here. Oh, God, Peter's texting me about going to the clam. That guy is getting insufferable. And that dumb Shaquille O'Neal gif. It's like we get it. It's humorous for a man that large to act playful. I thought so. So anyway, I'm going to go dump all this completely undigested food out of my bag into the toilet. If I time it right and close my eyes, it almost sounds like real diarrhea. Come on, Joe. I'll drive you home. Are you kidding? I've got working legs for the first time in 15 years, and I'm going to use them. I'm walking home. I'm sorry, Mr. Swanson. Hospital rules. You have to leave in a wheelchair. <sighs> Thank you.
Yeah! 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 Get some! Get some! Yeah! Sex! 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 Oh, Joe, that was amazing. I know. I was there. My God. We haven't done it in so long, I'd forgotten how big you were. I was gonna say the same thing to you. Well, fellas, I'm off. Old Joe's got a big stakeout this week, so I'm gonna practice by watching the party from across the street.